Ladies and gentlemen, your assistance is required to help solve a heinous crime. Several weeks ago, a woman's body was found in the trunk, stolen from the Brighton Pavilion and locked up in an archway underneath Brighton's Palace Pier. <laughs> The woman in question, Miss Edwina White, esteemed housekeeper of the Royal Pavilion. In the trunk was also found a silver candlestick from the Royal Pavilion, and forensics have identified a blow to the left temple of her head from the candlestick. In the victim's hand was a dagger covered in blood, also from the Royal Pavilion kitchen, and around her neck a rope, and a small dose of arsenic in her stomach. Arsenic, the common poison most commonly used for the extermination of household vermin. The cause of death, inconclusive. But from the condition of the body, the police believe the murder happened two weeks ago on the night Edwina White disappeared, the 24th of August, 1934. Suspicious already? Wait a while. In her apron pocket was a marriage certificate. Her marriage certificate. Proclaiming that she was actually Edwina Holloway by marriage. We know that John Holloway left England in 1924 and was seen very little abroad, apart from a sighting in Antwerp, in the company of a certain Anne Kennett a young kitchen maid and by all accounts a fine cook in the making. Over the last two days, the police have arrested five suspects seen around the pavilion on the night of the 24th of August. They've taken various statements, but accomplished nothing. But the murderer is still at large, hence my involvement, employed by the police as a private detective. And so, my friends, this is where you come in. Over the course of two and a half hours, you must interrogate our suspects. And maybe they just might let their guard down. The suspects you are to interrogate are as follows. Colonel John Mustard, better known as the Colonel, a self-made man or so it seems, who arrived in Brighton only six months ago. A self-made man apparently having bought the Cricketer's Pub in Black Lion Street. And a well-dressed man. Go and meet him outside his tailor's, Hugo Morris, by the steps leading up to Dolphin Square and opposite Donatello's Italian restaurant. Outside the Royal Pavilion and in the gateway, you will meet Lady Wilhelmina Peacock, previously a loyal servant to the Royal Family and admitting to being the mistress of His Majesty King Edward VII. She was given a lifetime pension, some considerable fortune, and the use of the Brighton Pavilion in perpetuity by King Edward VII. She briefly married Lord Peacock, who having amassed a considerable amount on the stock market, is now sadly deceased, leaving Lady Peacock a very wealthy woman. But the Colonel has been seen rather furtively making his way up the back stairs of the pavilion several times, as if not wishing to be seen and Lady Peacock has noticed articles from her personal collection are going missing, and she has admitted that she suspected her housekeeper, the late Edwina White, even uttering, I could kill her. These suspicions have been fueled by the esteemed cook at the pavilion, Miss Annie Scarlet. Go to a town hall in Bartholomew Square, where you must interrogate Miss Scarlet, she apparently having arrived with excellent references from London, not a stain on her character, six months ago. But she has been seen at various times at the Cricketer's Pub, hardly the sort of place for a respectable cook from the Royal Pavilion. And Annie Scarlet was, of course, under the jurisdiction of the late Edwina White before her untimely death. Go to the north gate of the Pavilion Gardens, and there you must interrogate Professor Percival Plum, local chemist and well known to still hold a candle to Edwina after her husband deserted her ten years ago. 
meet him in the North Gateway near the museum and perhaps question him about the serious errors in his poison register. And finally, go to English's restaurant by the Twitten up towards Market Street to meet our esteemed vicar, the Reverend John Green. Rather alarmingly, artifacts are going missing from his church for no apparent reason, and a bottle of arsenic has been spotted in the church by several parishioners since the night of Edwina's disappearance. And so, my friends, working in teams of approximately four or five people, you will be given a briefing booklet containing all the clues we have so far and a map showing the five venues where you will meet our five suspects in a predetermined order. You will have merely 15 minutes to ask our suspects as many questions as you can and hopefully the murderer will let his guard down. But do not dally in one place too long or you will not have time to complete your verdict within two and a half hours. I shall be in the vicinity to answer as many questions as I can and to pass on any further information as I receive it. So now, we will see you at the Grand Hotel on the 22nd of September, where we will quickly recap, hand you your briefing booklets and set you to work. But be very careful on that day, because the perpetrator of this heinous crime is still at large. And who knows, there may be another murder. And it could be any of you.